Jocko, bad luck overall for the weekend, but uh, I would imagine it's a mixture of disappointment, but some pride at uh, how your guys performed over the last three days. Pride for sure. I mean, the way the way they played, uh, nobody expected us uh, to be even close of uh, winning one match, and uh, we came to the position today, uh, leading to one. Uh, and being one match away from winning this tie, which was really impossible, nobody was so brave to, to even think about this uh, before the tie. So for sure, I'm very, very, very proud on the guys. And from the other side, yes, once you are 2-1 up, uh, you're hoping you're very close. Uh, and it was set all in the first match, so you had two sets away from the victory. So at the moment, I'm for sure also disappointed. But uh, in a few days, I'll be very proud on the, what the guys, uh, how they performed. Franco came so close, didn't he, in that fourth set. Raised his game from 4-5 from and almost forced the decider. Maybe that would have been the, the difference today. Yeah, for sure. I mean, there was a few moments for sure during the weekend that uh, could uh, change the, 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 re the result that was happening. And uh, for sure, the end of the fourth set was one of them. And he had the momentum on his side. He had maybe some physical problems in the third set, uh, the middle of the third set, and still feeling it in the fourth set. But then suddenly he... The crowd exploded and uh, he just uh, was in uh, such a zone that he played unbelievable and uh, just bad luck that he didn't get to the fifth set because I think uh, in the fifth set he would be very tough to beat because he was he was very confident at that moment so it was uh, bad luck that he lost the fourth set. I've never seen uh, tennis in Croatia before. You have some set of fans, don't you? Even after the tired finish, they're still on their feet singing songs. Incredible atmosphere this weekend. No, for sure. Uh, it was also for us uh, amazing to have to have this when you when you lose to have uh, standing ovations uh, for so long. It's unbelievable, and it was happening all the week because the people here found out that uh, we don't have the best players uh, that uh, played uh, last year, who brought us to the final. So they were expecting them, and uh, in, in the end, they they sort of showed respect to the players that were here, to the guys that. Uh, the, it was not their uh, their problem that uh, they came to the situation that uh, they maybe didn't like us to play here with this team, but in the end they showed such a tennis and such a performance and the will to just to prove that they are they earned the, the spot in this team and uh, they respected the crowd, respected it, and they thanked us in the in the best possible way. I know it's a long way away, September, but you'll have a, a world group playoff to plan for now. Having been champions and being such a, a proud tennis nation, how important is it that you, you somehow find a way to stay in the world group? For sure it's very important because we can have the team. I mean, uh, last year we came to the situation to almost win uh, the Davis Cup. So it would just uh, be very important for us to stay here in the world group. Okay, this, week, this weekend we didn't have the, the team we had last year, but uh, we'll need the, the best players to play the the match in September because where we play, I mean, we know what is Davis Cup and what uh, can happen and what surprises it brings uh, to itself. So I'll need all the players possible and uh, hoping to get back to the world group uh, as soon as possible because we have the player. I said it would be a shame not to be in a, in a world group with these players and to make some mess there and try to get in a position again to win the Davis Cup. Good luck in September. Thank you.